On this episode of Cash Canada, we want to tell you a story. But it doesn't start here. It starts a long time ago. Come with us and find some caches. As we ride down the Confederation Trail in Prince, Prince Edward, Edward Island. Island. The birth of the Confederation Trail starts before it was created, early this century, goes back to Confederation itself. Delegates from the different colonies in the Canadas met in Charlottetown in September 1864 to discuss the union of the separate colonies to a new nation. Britain encouraged Prince Edward Island to join, but PEI decided to go it on their own and it set to work on building a railway to service the people. Construction began in 1871, but costs almost bankrupted the government by the next year. This problem helped pave the way for PEI's entrance into Confederation. On July 1st, 1873, PEI became a province of Canada. Got it. Work on the railroad was picked up by the Canadian Government Railways and was completed by the mid-1880s. The Prince Edward Island Railway saw heavy use during World War II, but, like many railways, saw declining use through the 1970s. The line was officially closed on 31st of December, 1989, and the rails were removed by the early 90s. Islanders were quick to notice a unique opportunity. The idea of a tip-to-tip -tip shared use walking and cycling trail in the summer and a snowmobile trail in the winter was born. With beautiful rolling hill scenery, quaint villages, and broad based seascapes, the Confederation Trail is Prince Edward Island's portion of the Great Trail, formerly known as the Trans-Canada Trail. We're with one of the CEOs of the Confederation Trail and we're going to ask him a couple of questions on how it put toge together, its history and so forth, but we were lucky enough to be with him here on his front porch. So you are one of how many CEOs that have put together the trail? Well, I, like, or you were the only one? Olwaif and I, uh, caching buddy, Olwaif and I were the organizers and we involved about uh, 10 or 12 of the island cachers mm -hmm. and uh, each uh, cacher had a, a section of the trail that they actually deployed the containers on while uh, Olwaif and I did the write-ups and the oh, okay. submissions and uh, container prep, that sort of thing. And, and is it under a, uh, a puppet account? Yes, it's yeah. under uh, Geo Wacker. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And I was wondering uh, if that was a person or an, an entity it's or something. It's a consortium. Yeah, that's cool. Um, how, long, how long have you done it? And I noticed it's version 2. Yes, um, I lose track of time, but I think it was around uh, eight, 8 years ago or so. Uh, mm -hmm. We put the original series out, yeah. which was uh, 1500. This is a really nice trail. They even have bathrooms. Holy doodle. After about uh, seven years, it was starting to show its age. Mm -hmm. So uh, we archived them over the winter and uh, re released them, added about 300 more. Yeah. So we have 1,800 tip to tip and all the spurs that go into some of the- 1,800? Uh, wow. I it's a power trail, but it's not yeah. because you have to uh, uh, walk it or bike it. Wow, yeah, yeah. We, we, we did a few, oh, but I got 1,800. It. <laughs> it was awesome. It was very, very, a lot of fun. What do you think about the great trail uh, treasure boxes? Da, 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 da. Yeah. 
got it. So we found another one. It's number 142. Hidden all across Canada are 200 of these treasure boxes. Ooh. And the person that finds it first wins whatever's inside. And then anybody subsequent after that has the code that's inside the lid that you enter that onto the website and you can win prizes. And I won week number one of the second year and there will be a third year of this great trail treasure box. So yeah. keep an eye out for that. The link will be down below and uh, check it out. So we have we have five on the island this year. We had one last year. Yeah. And uh, it, it's good. Um, I actually put one of them out oh, here okay. and one out in Nova Scotia. And uh, we've been getting um, literally thousands of people across the country using it. So yeah. anything that gets people on the trail is great. Thank you very much for your time and letting people know. Thank you. All right, thanks. So there you have it. This is the beginning of the trail and actually the end of our video and we hope you enjoy coming along with us. Oh, you mean it's all over? Yep, this is the end. Oh, jeez. So had fun. Yeah, if you want to see more of the trail, you've yeah. got to come out here to Prince Edward Island and see it yourself. See it yourself. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take, take you? you?